There might also be occasions where you wish to make the same edit to something close by, but it's just missing off the edge of the image window. Well, the answer to that is that you can go to the tools panel and just above the zoom tool is what's called the hand tool. This is classed as a panning tool. When I left click on that, hover my cursor of the image, we now see this hand symbol. And this will allow you to quite literally grab the view of your artwork and move it around on screen. Just to note, nothing in the artwork actually moves, it's just your view of it. So if I click and hold down the mouse and immediately drag in a direction, you'll see that I can explore the image at the same magnification, but just view areas that are beyond the edge of my image window. Now the keyboard shortcut for the hand tool is rather helpfully H, H for hand. Now, if you hold down the H key, even when you've got the hand tool active, it will allow you to click and hold down the left mouse button, keep it held down and go into something called bird's eye view. You'll see that our cursor has been surrounded by a square. It denotes the region that we could see before we came out into this bird's eye view, this holistic view of our artwork. And with both those held down, if you drag your mouse around, you can hover that square over a different part of the image. Let go of just the left mouse button and it will take you back into the previous zoom level where you can view the artwork in the same level of detail. Again, hold down the H key, click and hold down the left mouse button to go back into bird's eye view and you can drag this around and just inspect somewhere on screen like so. So the hand tool is an incredibly efficient way of being able to pan around your document in the same magnification level or explore in bird's eye view. You also have scroll bars at the bottom of the screen and on the right hand side of the interface. So if I drag the horizontal scroll bar, it will move you over quite a significant distance. In fact, it can move you beyond the edges of your image canvas, the printable area of your artwork on either side. The same is true of the vertical scroll bar just here. It will allow you to navigate up and down like so. I would tend to say they are more handy if you wish to jump from one side of your image to the other. Otherwise, the hand tool is probably a more efficient way of exploring at the same zoom level. So those are techniques for panning either with a hand tool or the scroll bars or bird's eye view and allowing you to inspect the image in different locations in the same magnification level.